right here would be right there. Yeah, anywhere here is good. Okay. Uh, I'm here today um, because I've made a wrong decision in life. That's why I'm here today. Um, I've chosen to call Jamie and uh, to do this and talk to you guys because I feel like I'm turning a negative into a positive. Does that, does that make sense? Um, I got in trouble, and we'll talk about that, um, and I made the wrong decision. So what I've asked them to do is let me come talk to people that I identify with, and what I mean by identify is I see myself in you guys. And when I see myself in you guys, I say that because I didn't finish school. Um, I had a, my first child when I was 16. I made a lot of wrong decisions in life, and I want to come here and just fill you in on some decisions that are coming your way. Um, in school, when you're there, you get, you get taught what you need to know, and then you have a test, do you not? Is that how it happens? Yeah. In life, you get the test, and then you get the lesson. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So, in, in other words, everybody that's in grade 12 and got great marks are at the same point you are. Does that make sense? And why is that? Because they're not in life yet either, if you know what I'm trying to say. They haven't got life yet, just like you have not. So you're actually equal. I really feel that you're above equal because... In today, most people from grade 12 want to go to college. This is your chance to come ahead because all you guys will be going to work. Does that make sense? So when you're at work, you're obviously going to be starting the test of life before they are. Does that make sense? So, I really feel that you guys have an advantage. You have an advantage. If you stop and think about that for a second, you have an advantage. And the reason I say you have an advantage is because you can learn how to come forward before you go backwards. And what do I mean by that? If they're going to college, they are borrowing a bunch of money to go learn something. You are going to work, and you're going to put money in your bank account while they have already spent it do you know what I'm saying? As they're forty and fifty thousand dollar behind, you can have your chance to go forward and learn what it means to go forward and then go backwards first. So I really feel like all of you have a beautiful opportunity to come forward. Okay? That's how I feel. I feel like you all have an opportunity to come forward and you have a better opportunity than the people with the A grades. I hate to say that, but it's true. You will begin the test of life before they will. And it's the decisions you make that will tell you whether you're going to have a good life or not. Does that make sense? There's a lot of decisions that you have to make in life that will tell you whether you're going to have a good life or not. And I, I hope that all of you have a great life. That's what I'm here for. I want you all to have a great life. And what I'm going to tell you is some decisions will decide that. Um, last year... Uh, Five o'clock in the morning, woke up to the dog barking. Somebody was in the behind my garage. Lights were on. Somebody was in behind the garage. Uh, we had just called a month earlier about someone being in the dooryard with their lights on. It just seemed funny, like it was two or three o'clock in the morning. They kept going back and forth the dooryard, back and forth the dooryard. Um, woke the dog up. Upset I was. Like, what are people doing? So, anyways, I wake up in the morning at five o'clock in the morning. Someone's behind my garage in the dooryard. I jump, put up my house coat on, run out the door, go up back behind my garage. First thing I come to is a set of lights. Truck lights are there. Here I am standing here in my robe and in the dark, can't see. Next thing I see is a light coming at me. Come to find out it's a person. If I turned the lights off here and stuck a light in your face, you would not know who I was. I can guarantee it. So, as I stood there and confronted him, what was he doing there? He didn't have anything to say. 
And as I was looking at him, I didn't know what he looked like. I didn't know how, how big he was. I didn't know what he was dressed in. I didn't know what he had on. But I proceeded to grab the light off his head and throw it in the woods. So now I've just assaulted him. He decides to get in his truck and drive away. I don't know who it is. So I made the decision to throw rocks at the truck. <laughs> That's, I hate to say it, but that was me. I picked up the big rocks and I threw it at the truck. And I, I, I did a very good job at it. <laughs> when the truck left, uh, the next day, the day after, um, I got a phone call from the RCMP telling me that I'm being charged with assault and mischief. At, in my brain, at first, it's like, no, they shouldn't be there. But the more and more I think about it, the decision that I made to go out there and front, confront the man behind my house was a poor decision. Can anybody tell me why? I could have been hurt. Over what? I could have been stabbed, shot, anything. I did not know who the man was. I could have been hurt. There is nothing out behind that garage that needs to get my temperature up. There's nothing out there that's worth my life. Is there? So to be all honest with you, I made the wrong decision. I should have stayed in the house, called the RCMP, and let them do their job. Sure, I, you know, what, you'd be ugly, that, oh, they didn't show up in time, but that's not, that's not the matter. The matter is that I made the wrong decision. I ran at the house, not thinking about it's dark out, what if the guy has something, what if there's two of them, all that sort of stuff. And that's just decisions in life that you have to make, and a lot of decisions are made on the fly. And this is what I'm going to tell you. I have a bad temper. I have a bad temper. Like, someone does me wrong, and what I think is wrong, I lose it. I lose it sometimes. When, when I get mad, I really feel like I have a decision. That, or not a decision, I have a, um, yeah, I have a decision whether I can get mad about it or not. Um, when I get mad at something that has happened, um, the person that has done me wrong when I'm mad at them, when I come screaming at them, do they think about what they have done to me or do they think about me screaming at them? Me screaming at them. So, in all honesty, me getting ugly has not done anything other than make myself look like an idiot. It's plain and simple. When I get mad, um, my temperature comes up. I say all kinds of things. What's making me mad? What's making me upset? And I'm making the wrong decision. I am taking away from the message. Does that make sense? If you know what I mean? If I talk slow, and I say, don't you ever do that again, because I don't like it. There's two different things going on there. There's one, uh, when I get mad, people want to get defensive. And they're not thinking about what they have done. They're thinking about defending themselves. When, like, just for instance, I'm just learning this now. <laughs> you know, at pretty near 50 years old, I'm 49 years old, I'm just learning it now. And I'm learning it because certain words have affected me. Like, you're losing the message. And when I'm mad, I'm trying to tell them why that I'm so mad, but it, I'm, everybody's losing it because I'm not giving it to them correctly. Does that make sense? When you overreact, the message is lost. And I'll tell you why. Like, I, I, I explain it to you. When BLM came into effect, what a great message. But when people started burning the buildings and knocking statues down and, and destroying history, didn't it deflect what the message was? Now you're thinking about all the bad people. And really the message is we want people to be nice to each other and stop treating each other the way they're treating each other. 
So the message gets lost in violence. It gets lost in violence. And every time you get upset about anything, remember, that person might have lost the message. And when you're going to take your time to get mad at somebody, you want them to know the message that you're giving them. Right? You want them to know when you're mad. So you have to slow down somehow and let them take the message so they can understand what you're saying. You cannot go to the other side and give the message. You cannot do that. It has to be explained slowly and thoroughly. Even write it down if you have to. Write it down. You know? Um, you're all like very, you're young and life is coming. And like I said, uh, life is the test. <laughs> You'll learn the answers after you have the test. The old saying goes, respect your elders. Why would, why would you ever, why would everybody say respect your elders? Because they've had more of the life test than you have. I'm 48, 49 years old. I'm still learning today about the message. It's hard to believe every time I've blown up and I'm just starting to fabricate the message in my head to slow down and tell people what is wrong. I cannot ex express that enough. So as we go through life, every decision that you make, think about the decision before you make it somewhat. First thing you're going to do is you're going to, the, every one of you are going to have to go out and get a job after this. Every one of you are going to have to get the, go get a job. And those who make the decision not to, making the wrong decision, everybody got to work. Everybody's got to work. When you make the decision not to get up in the morning because you've got a hangover and not go to work. Another wrong decision in life. It's another wrong decision. When you decide to uh, be bad like me and have children before you know anything. Wrong decision. Wrong decision. You think about this for a minute. How could I teach my kids anything if I don't know nothing? How could I teach my kids if I don't know anything? When I'm just starting the test of life, how would I teach my kids anything? It's not fair to the children that you do not teach. It's not fair to them. They should know all the mistakes that are allowed or they're going to be made in life. When we get out in the workforce, respect. I know you all love respect because you're all here. That's why you, you like respect, because you're all here. You want to be respected. And I'm going to tell you something, another thing that's a mistake a lot of people make. Respect is earned, not given. Respect comes from how you act. How you act. If you act like a whatever, like if someone that doesn't come to work, someone doesn't come to work, someone doesn't want to work, well, you're only going to get the respect from the people that you're not going to get no respect from anybody. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't even say that word with that. You've got to go to work. You've got to go to work. And that's where the kids that got the A's and the, and the B's and the whatever that are going to college, that's how you're going to win. <laughs> go to work. When you get to work, make the decision whether you want to be there or you like a different job. But... Make sure you're working and doing your job while you're thinking that. You know, you want to make good decisions to go forward. If you do not make good decisions from here on out, it doesn't matter if you're A's, B's, whatever. You do not make good decisions, you will not have a good life. You will not. When you come out of this, you know, school and you go to the workforce, you have to understand you're not allowed to make fun of anybody. You're not allowed. And I'll tell you why. People don't like it. And if you make that choice that you want to make fun of people, then people that don't like it will show you. When you get out of this place, don't go borrow a bunch of money. For what? Go to work and make some money. Find out what it takes to make some money before you go get some money. 
work for some money, grab some, go forward a little bit. When you decide not to pay your bills, respect is lost. Nobody wants to lend you no money to go forward. Nobody wants to help you out that don't pay their bills. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> when you leave here, nobody owes you anything. Nothing. Nothing. Not a dime. Nothing. Take your brain, take your brain, click it in gear, and ask yourself, where am I going to live? Where am I going to live? Where am I going to stay? You know, you have to ask yourself, where am I going to live? Who's going to look after me? Who's going to pay my bills? You have to ask yourself that. And you have a chance, you people have the chance to go forward quicker than the people with their going to college. You have the chance to have that. When you become an adult, if you make the decision that you like to drink alcohol and you get caught, you have to accept the consequence. You have to know everything that you do, there's a consequence for it. I've been caught three times. <laughs> I'm a dumb little boy, wasn't I? I was dumb. It cost me so much money that I could not do anything. I could not, it was hard to get back where, what I've lost. I had to, it was $1,000 every time you caught, then you tried to pay $1,000 for the lawyer. Well, I wasn't making that much money. I was only going to court for 10 minutes and I owed the lawyer $1,000. I don't make that kind of money, <laughs> you know? You really have to think about your decisions that you make every day. You have to think about it. When you break up with your girlfriend or boyfriend, move on. And I'll tell you why. Do not spend your time trying to change them. Take the time and fix yourself. <laughs> make me happy with yourself. Move on. Why would you try to take the time to control somebody else? That's another thing. You cannot control anybody. Nobody. The only person you can control is yourself. That's the only person you can control. So if you're with somebody and they want to go somewhere, let them go. If you're not happy about it, you have to deal with it on your own time. You cannot control anybody. Everybody's their own person. And I suggest, if you can, ask yourself, what makes you happy? What makes you happy? Do you know that you're only as happy as your health? Do you know that? How would you not, how would you, how would you not know that? Or how would you know that? How would a person know that you're only happy as your health? How would, let's, let's all use our brain for a minute. How would you know that personally? If I deep down, how would I know you're only as happy as your health? Can anybody want to say anything? Nothing is wrong. Whatever you say, it doesn't matter. It's just a conversation of what it is. It's a conversation about the test of life. And I'm going to tell you why. When you are sick, are you happy? No. No one's sick when they're happy. You know any sick people that run around happy? Yeah, I'm sick. It doesn't happen. You're only as happy as your health. This morning, when I got up this morning, I was trying to, I want to make myself happy. And the only way you make yourself happy is you think of good thoughts. Does that make sense? That makes sense? So when I woke up this morning, do you know that we all live in the safest place in the world? That's, a, that's right on. That's awesome. That's awesome that you, we live in the safest place in the world. How can you not be happy about that? You have to be happy. You could be somewhere else where everybody's dropping like flies. And then you'd be upset. Then you would learn the test of life that happiness is only as good as your health. <laughs> that makes sense? I hope it's making sense. Because the, the test of life is coming. When, um, as, a, as a young person, I did a lot of things that worked good. I was a I was a bad person. And I can honestly say that because the things that I've done, I would not want my daughter hanging around with him. Nope. I don't want my daughter hanging around with him. 
and that means me. I would not want my daughter hanging around with me. And that's how I know a lot of things that I've done has been wrong. You know, when you would never know that you didn't want your daughter to hang out with this person or that person when you're young because you don't even know yourself. But when you have time in the game of life, then you would find that out. What you would prefer your son or your daughter or whatever to hang out with and you would know. As, as a young person, I would have been that person that every mother and father would, would not want their kid around me. <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to say. They don't want their kids around me. I made the wrong choice in life because I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person. I want to be the person that tells you the truth and helps you because, because... I know I'm not going to be here forever. Why would I not want to help the people that are coming? I've missed out teaching my daughter and my son things that I should have taught them because I made the wrong decision in life. When you get become the age and you're trying to, you're going to be married and you're going to, you do not get married to anybody because you think it's going to change things. Do not do that. Do not do that. You marry somebody because you love them. And what it means by to love them, it means you're allowing them to be whoever they want to be whenever they want to be it. That's what love is. Love is not controlling somebody and I have to have her and I want to put a ring around her finger and I want to keep her forever. Not a chance. Not a chance. Getting married is about you loving someone because of who they are. That's a, that's, a, that's a big decision in life that is made wrong all the time. It's made wrong all the time. Make sure you marry somebody because you love them for who they are, not because you want to control them or change them or anything. Yeah. I've done it all. <laughs> I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, when, when, when you make mistakes and you go to the court system, uh, the court system will really humble you and make you feel like you have done something wrong, which it should, which it should. Uh, you're always, when you, get, when you get in the court system, you go backwards. You go backwards. You are not able to have the money, the fun, the relationship, and the good health that you could have by making the wrong decisions. Um, The court system is not where you want to be. You guys haven't even got a job yet. (laughs) How are you going to pay the court system for what your bad decisions are? So my first (laughs) thing is try, try, please try to stay out of the court system. And the only way if you to stay out of the court system is to what? Not make bad decisions. <laughs> bad decisions. That's basically what it bounces up to, bad decisions. Any questions from anybody? Would you like to know anything or like no questions? Well, I suggest I suggest that um, what I'm going through, if or talking to you about, I want you to click your head into another gear when you do when you make a decision. I want you to think of the next step. What's it gonna? What's what are the consequences of that decision? If you get out of here and you decide I don't want to drink or I don't want to work, I'm going to sell weed. What is the consequence of the decision? Does anybody know what the consequence is? Well, it's it's a part of it. What about the fine you're going to get? What about the lawyer you're going to pay? What about the people that you have pissed off? (laughs) So there's more consequences than just jail. And I'm going to tell you, all them three things I just listed, the money, the people, whatever, is going to affect you more in the game of life than you really think. Like, so, if a fine is $1,000, if you're only making 400 a week, how are you going to pay that back? How are you going to pay that back? (laughs) 
made the wrong decision. You get all kinds of money, do whatever you, I guess, do whatever you like. But most of us here are going to have to go to work. When you go to work, you will not get respect. You will not get respect when you go to work because everybody else has to. You have to earn it. You have to earn it. And that means going over and above and being a good person and earning it. You are not going to get respect from me if you come in every morning late. You're not going to get it. If you come in in the morning five minutes early and get ready, man, I'm glad that guy showed up on time. When you make the decision to go get some money from the bank, when you make that decision, you have to know in your brain that you're going to pay it back. You're going to have to, you have to click that gear and know you're going to have to pay it back. And if, if, I, if I was a young man again, I would, I, I would want to know how much I'm going to have to pay back. In the game of life, when you all go buy a home, has anybody bought a home here yet? Well, you have to give me a little respect. I bought three or four. <laughs> A little respect, right? But I'm going to tell you something. When you buy that home for 100 grand, do you know that the interest that they put on that home, you pay first? Do you know that? So if you have a $100,000 loan, the interest is 20000 You know what money you pay back first? The interest. Well, there you go. Well, I'm glad you're, someone must have told you. That's a, that's a good thing, right? So... To, in, my, in my opinion, everybody else needs to know the same thing. You know what I mean? That you know, but you guys all need to know that when you go buy something, it's not what they said on the thing. No, it's more than that, and you have to pay that first. That's a big lesson in life, is it not? Huh? Do you all know that? Do you know when, when, uh, when you get married and you have made a few mistakes, you're You've just got caught for drinking and driving. Uh, things are going backwards. What happens to your marriage? What happens to the person that you're dating? What happens to that? What happens when you have no money? Becomes a fight. Becomes a fight. Because the wrong decision in life has made it difficult on you and your spouse. That life decision, that decision you made to go have a drinky poo-poo in your car car has made... The wrong decision, and now it has caused for you and your wife to fight because you got no money and you got to pay these bills. And it happens all the time. People don't talk about that stuff. When, yeah, when, you know, when someone is dating each other and, and something happens, you split up, you must. Take reflection of yourself. You must take reflection of yourself and find out what you like. When you're dating that girl or you're dating that boy, in life, in life, if I separate it from a girl, I would take everything that I liked about her and keep it. And everything I didn't like about her, I would kind of recognize it. When I met my next girlfriend, I would keep that information. Wow, she's just like my old girlfriend. Be smart about it. Get away. Get away. It's, it's life lessons. Like, it's your choice. When the person is really nice and, and you like that about them, and, they're, and they, you, that's the time when you come forward. <laughs> but you must take every decision in your life and make something of it. Make something of it. So every mistake, try to make a positive. As I've gotten trouble from my temper being out of place and making the wrong decision, what I have done, I've tried to turn it into a positive. Now I'm here talking to you great people. You know? If... The exact same thing. When your partner, you're not happy, they split, make sure you take that negative and turn it into a positive. 
because this is why. Because next time you meet somebody, you can say, oh, I don't like that part. Get away from them. I don't like that part. Right? Because you know. Don't be silly in the, game, in the life. I know I call it a game, but it's not a game. Do not be silly with the things that you're doing. Think about everything. When you buy that truck, where's the guy? Where is he? Nope. You're the guy drew the pictures. He asked me to borrow my car. I would never lend any bo borrow my car. You know why? I've had I've lent my car before. <laughs> Doesn't work out so good. Doesn't work out so good. Not a good life decision to lend somebody your car. You have to ask yourself, why do they not have a car? <laughs> Right? You have to ask yourself. And I tell my daughter that, you know, once you save your money and you have bought in a car, do not go lend it to somebody that's not going to pay you for it. What are you going to do? You know, what am I going to do? You smash it up. Hey, man, keep it. Not a, not a chance. Not a chance. That's when the temper would come out, and then you'd have to say, whoa, back up a little bit, and then tell you slowly, well, you'll have to pay for that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't understand if I flew out of med. He, oh, he lent me the car. No, you asked me to borrow the car, and I'm thinking with a good decision that he would go good for it. Would he not? In life, when you are talking to people, don't believe anything until you cipher in your brain. You know, if I'm going around saying this person done this or this person done that, the first thing that goes to my mind is what? What did they do to the piss the other person off for that to happen? What did they do? And I say, oh, that guy said nothing but an asshole. He did this, he did that. Oh, okay. Well, what did, he, what did he do to get that information from the other guy? He must have done something to make him ugly, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. You hear someone say, oh, this guy is this and that, and come at me, and said this and that. Well, what did you do? In other words, what I'm trying to tell you is there's three sides of the story. His, mine, and the truth. And I'd prefer to stay on the truth if it was me. And I'll tell you another reason why. There's less to remember. <laughs> there's less to remember. Has anybody asked themselves who they want to be. Has anybody asked themselves that yet? Awesome. Awesome. I don't know. I never asked myself when I was that young, but you sort of know who you want to be in life? That's a good thing. Do you know who you want to be in other people's eyes? Good. Awesome. Sometime in life, each and every one of everybody's going to have to ask themselves, who do I want to be? Do you want to be somebody that everybody don't like? Do you want to be someone that's respected in the community? Do you want a nice family and a nice car and that sort of stuff? The decisions that you make will tell you if you're going to get it. <laughs> Does it not? If you decide that, you know, having sex with every Tom, Dick, and Harry is what you want to do, what are the consequences? Give me a couple. Okay, what happens from that? Can you go on a little further? Who, who are you going to date after that? Well, that's what I'm saying. So after that happens, it must go to your brain. Well, who's going to want me now? It must go there. You know, you have to click it a little bit further. You know, you get STD. So you made a bad decision. I guess now there's another decision to make. Do you tell the person that you're dating? Oh, oh you damn well better. You damn well better. Or just whispered it or something, you know, hey. Or, let's, let's face it, it's a decision that you will make that will decide whether you're happy or not. It will, yeah. 
It will. It's it, you know, it's a decision that you will make in life that'll happen. It'll like I mean it happens. So the best decision would be um, probably to well, just maybe protection would be not bad idea. Protection wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, if you were the kind of person that wants to go around and use everybody, make sure that you know that people were going to use you. <laughs> make sure you know that. You know? Make sure you know that. Has anybody learned anything yet? I suppose. Awesome. 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 So we know, we all know for sure, this is what we know for sure, that when violence comes involved with the message, what happens? The message, you have to know that. I'm just learning that. I'm learning that now at my age. <laughs> my age. And I want you to go forward quicker than I have. When you have babies, <laughs> when you have babies, make sure that you know, you know that you've just put your work clothes on. You've just put your work clothes on. Not for today, for about 16 years. Know that. When you do that, if that happens, know that you've just put your work clothes on. And every decision is not your decision. Now it's two bad decisions because you've got one to look after. I, I do not want you guys to grow up and be, what can I say, not happy. I want you all to be happy. That's what I want, you all to be happy and make the right decisions. Make the right decisions. It's your own, it's your life, you know. All I'm trying to do is pass it on that if you make the wrong decision, it's going to go to hell in a handbag. It will. And basically what I'm, what I'm really want to enforce is that when you get out in the life, make sure that you have your best manners on and that you have no respect and you're trying to earn some from everybody else that's been in life. <laughs> recognize, recognize things that you do not like and what you do like. Recognize it. Recognize it. When someone tells you you're good at something, don't throw it away. Say, whoa, I'm good at something. What is it? And they just, someone tells you, think about it for a minute. Think about it for a minute. Has anybody ever told you you're good at something? Yeah, well, do you ever think about it? Some, it's, it's a good feeling, is it not? Well, wouldn't it be a great feeling to chase? It'd be a great feeling to chase. Someone says you're good at something. Chase it. Go for it for a while. See what happens. Make yourself happy. Is the camel guy happy? You happy? Well, I'm glad I showed up to ask you. And then you can ask yourself, are you happy? Do you know, do you know what makes you happy? You happy? Good. That's good. How, I'm going to ask you something. How could you ever make someone else happy if you're not happy? How could you do that? Well, why would you want to bring, why would you want to get a girlfriend then? If you're not happy. You know what I'm saying? If you're not happy, why would you bring a girlfriend to be in not happy? All right. Let's go, let, let, <laughs> let, let's go from there. Let's go from there. If you recognize all this, you're so smart. Why don't you get a boyfriend that brings you up? Right? Yeah, so you recognize it. You're telling me how smart you are. You know, if the boyfriend's bringing you down, get away from him. Get a new one that will bring you up. So get a man that compliments you. Be a simple thing, would it not? As we're all young people and we're on the Internet and we're all talking, when you say something on the computer, that's who you are. That's who you are. Do you know that? The computer is documenting everybody's life right now. I think it's a great thing, to be honest with you. 
Because when you write something down, what happens when I read it? I can tell who you are. Yeah, you get on there saying, you, damn, you're nothing but an asshole, you can't build shit. Well, I know exactly who that person is because they just wrote it down. That's what they're thinking. That's who they are. Right? That's who they are. Whatever I say is who I am. Whatever you write down is who you are. It's not who they are. It's what you're thinking. That's who you are. When you write something down on the computer, that's who you are. Not who they are. That's who you are. Because you're the one who wrote it. <laughs> you have to confess that if you wrote that, that's who you are. Because you're talking about somebody else. But that's who you are. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. So when you get on that old internet and you start talking and saying things, it's not hard. For me, uh, we have a lot of comments on our page. And I can read a comment and tell you, each and every person, what kind of person they are. When someone says, I did a good job, hey man, they're, they're a fan and they're very, um, they're supportive. When they get on there and say, I'm nothing but an idiot and an asshole, well, I just think that they're not a fan and um, I hate to be them. Because that's who they are. They're, they're the ones thinking that, that's who they are. That's not who I am. You know, um, I do not listen to what other people say generally because it is something that they're saying, but yet it's really not the truth, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. When you get out in life and you make a deal with somebody, you know, there are so many people out there that will not tell you the truth. <laughs> they will not tell you the truth. And then there will become a decision whether you react on it and do something bad or you do something that fixes the situation. And that will decide on the bad decisions in life. So, how, how, can we, how can we tell each other how happy we are? We can tell by our health. If you're healthy or happy, you should be happy. Right? If you're healthy, you should be happy. Do you agree? Shouldn't you? Why would you not be happy if you're healthy? Something to be happy about. When, when, when something comes up and you're upset... Ask yourself, compared to what? <laughs> you know, just you just bent the wheel on your on your on your bike, your brand new motorbike. Bent the wheel on it, so you all oh, so fucking. Well, put it in perspective. How bad a day has it really been? You know, is it like Texas when they all smashed up in the highway and a bunch of people lost their lives? Is it is it in that perspective? How how mad do you get? Like, how what's the perspective? How how mad do you're supposed to get? You know what I mean? If you put it in perspective, if you had a bad day, oh, someone said this about me. Well, there's people that are way worse than you are. <laughs> put it in perspective. When you get mad, put it in perspective. Make sense? You know, think about things. So I guess what I, I guess I'm going to finish this off with saying, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish off with saying, when it comes time for everybody to be in the game of life, make the decision based on, would you like it? When you're talking to people, when you're dealing with people, anything, make the decision based on whether what you would like. Does that make sense? Make, base the decision on what you would like done to you. In that way there, you can have some perspective how you're supposed to act in the game of life. Because life is coming. And it's not a test that you've been, been uh, studying for. It's something that you're going to be given, and then we're going to watch you react. <laughs> and the better decisions you make on all the tests that life given you will tell you how good a life you're going to have. A young girl gets in a fight with her, with her mother, runs out the door, goes across the road and gets by a car. What is the moral of the story? Look both ways before you cross the road. She made the wrong decision and crossed the road without looking both ways. So now, she's dead right. Does that make sense? When you walk across, this is as simple as this. When you walk across the sidewalk, look and see if a car is coming. That's a good decision. Look and see if a car is coming. 
And I'll tell you why. You walk in front of the car because it's a sidewalk or crosswalk because you think you owe, you're owed that, which you're not, and you get hit and you've been killed. So we can call you dead right. It's a lot good when you're dead and you're right, eh? Make a good decision on everything. Try to be aware of everything. Be aware of people that make you ugly. Be aware of people that make you happy. Be aware if you want to be happy. Hang with those people that make you happy. If you're not with people that don't make you happy, separate yourself and go to the other side. It will help you make the decisions that you need. It will help you. Do not go out and get a bunch of money and spend beyond your means. You will have made the wrong decision and you'll be unhappy. You will. You'll be unhappy. You run out and get a bunch of money and a whole bunch of money, you will be unhappy. And then you'll be able to say, that bad Chad guy, he told me. He told me. But I went out and bought a bunch of money and now I'm in the house and upset. Excellent. So you know it's the wrong decision. You know. You're so smart. Yeah, you're so smart. You have, you have every capability to make the wrong decision the right decision because you know the difference. You recognize it. Recognize your bad decisions and what you like and what you dislike. Recognize. Recognize. Does that make sense? You have to recognize and think about every decision. And I'll tell you, as I'm growing in life, I can tell you exactly what it's about for me. For me. And I hope that you all get the same thing, because I see all you and me, is that you keep learning to the end of time about life, about things that make you happy and things that are right and wrong. You're supposed to grow and know what kind of person you're, you like. You're supposed to know that. Do you know what color you like? Are you a truck guy or are you a car, car guy? Do you want to be a mechanic? You guys should ask, be asking yourself questions right now whether what you like and what you don't like and what you're going for. And if you decide to go off the way and make a wrong decision, remember there's consequences. There's consequences. When you say go to jail, no, there's more than that. You've you got to pay the money. You've got to pay the lawyer. You piss someone off. Now you're fighting with your wife. There's, all kind, there's so many things that come with the decisions that you make. I would like you to all... If you make a decision, make sure you click the gear and tell me what, the, what, was it, uh, tell me what happens after that when you make that decision. When you make the decision to have a child, do you know that you, you must know that you have to pay for them? You're supposed to teach them. And I would not want to be the person nowadays to send my kid to school to learn what kind of person they're supposed to be. They're supposed to learn that at home. <laughs> you're supposed to learn that at home, how good a person, or how you're supposed to be. Everybody knows, I, I know everybody knows here, that when, they, when, they're, when they're made fun of, they don't like it. I know that. So you make sure that you make the same decision for somebody else when you decide to make fun of them. Do you know what I'm saying? When you decide... When you decide to tear someone else down because you feel you're superior or whatever you feel, make sure you know that you were hurting that person. Make sure you know. And that's the wrong decision because it causes conflict. You do not want someone making fun of you, do you not? You want someone to make fun of you? So you, I, I, I would never expect you to make fun of any, anybody ever again, sort of. You know what I'm saying? Or work on it. You don't like it? Don't do somebody else, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm not going to walk out the door here and say, oh, man, what a shitty car that guy got. No. That's his car. I don't, I got to mind my own business. <laughs> mind my own business. And that's why I'm talking about in the garage all the time when I'm out in the garage working stuff. I mind my own business. Do you want someone talking behind your back and saying all kinds of stuff about you? Go to work. They won't be talking about you because you'd be minding your own business. Go to work. Be busy. Be busy. If you are a person that does not want to work, are you allowed to talk about the person or knock the person down that's going to work and making money? 
No, you've made the decision to stay home, so you, you have to, or you should. And if you don't, what do you become? A bad person. Everybody's got two hearts, a good and a bad. Which one you want to feed? Right? Which one you want to feed? You want to feed the good heart or the bad heart? I, I just say that uh, make the right decision or try to make the right decision. And when you're making your decisions, base it on whether you would like it done to you and go from there. Just click that gear one more time. When you make a decision, would I like it done to me? And then you'll know whether you would like it or not. Nobody has any respect here at all from nobody. Go out and earn it. Go get it. And you get it by giving someone else respect. Thank you. You're welcome. Please. Whatever the word is. I want to show something here. Uh, where's the little piece of, the piece of wood? I, I, I like that. Shows me a lot. How, what's, what's it tell me? By looking at that, what's it tell me? True. He has respect for me, doesn't he? I respect him back. Did I show you respect? Did I come over and tell you thank you and I really appreciate it? He did. I respect him. He's shown me a little respect and he took his, what has he done? He's taken his time and done something nice for me. And I like him. That's how it works. That's how it works. If you want a queen for a girlfriend, if you want a queen, you've got to try to treat her like a queen. Right? If you want a king for a boyfriend, treat him like a king. But also, he must act like a king. You know what I mean? You have to act like it too. In life, we get 67,000 seconds a day. So when you wake up in the morning, you get 67,000 seconds to spend. And you know what I mean by that? Your life. You get 67,000 seconds a day. If someone was to give you $67,000 a day, whatever you did not spend, you had to give back. Would you spend it all or would you give some back? You spend it all? Good boy. So, in life, do not waste your time and your money. Time and money, huh? Do not waste it. You have 67,000 seconds. You give me an answer that you would not give any back. You would spend it. I wake up in the morning and think exactly the same. I've got 67,000 seconds. What am I going to do today? Right? You've got you to think that way. What am I going to do today to spend it? And what do you got to do to get that? Right on, brother. Right on. Everybody has to work. Everybody has to work. When you get a job and you don't like it, take a little time while you're working and figure out in your own brain how you move forward. When I worked at the chicken plant, <laughs> I hung chickens for 15 years. Well, it wasn't enough money for me to get what I wanted. I wanted more. I would buy chicken and I would take it home and I would sell it. <laughs> buy it right from the plant I'm working at. And then I would take it home and sell it. So in actual fact, I made more money than everybody else. And I didn't do nothing. All I did is use my brain and went and bought their chicken and found someone to buy it. That makes an extra $100 a week. Uh -huh. So you all obviously all have the potential to do that. You have to use your own brain. Use your own brain. And every time you make a decision, click it one step further and say, what is, what's going to become of it? Who am I going to affect? And what else will it affect? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I want to thank you all coming for listening to me yang on. Um, I think that, I think that you all have a head start, to be honest with you. You all have a head start. I don't know whether you know that or not. You have a head start from the ones that are going to college. I keep, my daughter has A's, 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 and I do not want her to go to college. I do not want her to go to college. I want her to go to work first and find out what it feels like to go forward before you go backwards. You guys all have the perfect opportunity to do that. You think you might be missing something. 
going back, going to school and spending a bunch of money and, and drinking it away, and then coming to school and figuring out what you're going to do. Some of you can already have a home and have a thing to go to and have way ahead of them. I've been on my sixth car before some people got out of college in my second house. You think I was worried about what they were doing? Not a chance. Not a chance. And what somebody else is doing is none of your business. Mind your own business. <laughs> Mind your own business. And treat everybody with a little respect. And you'll get some. Good decisions, good life, right? Keep the temper down because it does not do anything for the message. I've ruined my message so many times. I could beat myself in the head with this board. Why do I ruin the message? I could have told them slowly and told them exactly how I felt instead of making them back up. Thanks, everybody, for coming. We had a couple practice runs. Yes. Right? Oh, it's Friday. And I need his help because he's got the volume. All right. This group's going to light it up. They're going to give me a it's Friday on three. And I want to hear some volume here. I want to hear some volume. You guys? Gary, are you ready? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. I never promise anything. You know why? My, my friend. I don't promise anybody nothing. That's a good boy. I like it. Good guy. No promise nothing.
you know? Yeah. Really and honestly, it's up to you. Thanks, brother. You gained a little respect today. It's nice earning that stuff, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Good. Jeez, you got some hard pecs, brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right on. Thanks for coming. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Make some good decisions. Make, make some good decisions, brother. Okay? Okay. Thank you for the call. No problem. That was, that was good. Good. Something, something actually went in my head. All right. Awesome. Like nice awesome. Man, yeah, you too. That was amazing. Thank you. Make some good decisions, okay? I will. Because it means a good life, you know? Yeah. You'll be happy. Thank you so much. No problem. I took it off the no worries. I can, you can just sit down anywhere. Yeah, when, anywhere you want. Um, Make some good decisions, brother. Where you want it? Um, yeah. Yeah. You gonna make some good decisions in life? Yeah. Good job. And if I remember correctly, my brother uh, is a fan of yours. I'm not okay. sure. But okay. He's terrible. Yeah. So if he is, I'm gonna get this to Good job. Hey, do you know, do you want me to tell you something? What? It feels better to give than it does receive. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. You tell me how you feel when you give your shirt away. Sure. You'll feel better than the guy receiving, I bet you. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for coming. Huh? Yeah. It was fun, you know. I'm, I just.